Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be building Fu Shuan. Now, if you guys don't know, I just recently got her in my most recent pulling video. If you haven't already, go check that video out. It was a uh, experience, to say the least. But today, our goal is to build the best possible Fu Shuan. I was pretty confident I would be able to get her, so I pre-prepared a lot of materials here for her. As you can see, I got a ton of credit, a ton of books. We prepared everything we could possibly need to build her to the maximum. And today, I intend to do just that. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Look at that, the Earth. There is 7 billion people on planet Earth, and yet I still only has 50,000 subscribers. What are you doing? Subscribe already so we can hit 7 billion subscribers. Nah, just kidding, but you really should subscribe. It does really help me out a lot, and only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So really, every single subscriber really does help me out. And I know it can take a lot of effort to go down and hit that button, but it really is only two seconds, and it does help. But without further ado, let's get back in to the video. All right, first things first, before we actually build Fu Shuan, I think it's important that we inherently understand a couple things about her kit. Because if we don't understand her kit, then how can we know how to play her? So the first thing I'm going to do is just go over a bit of her kit. Now I did cover this in my wishing video. So if you guys are not interested in this part of the video, I will leave a timestamp here and you can skip past this part of the video. But with that being said, let's kill the boss. Okay, first things first, let's learn a bit more about her technique because that's what we just used to get into battle. This is going to be her barrier technique. When entering battle, we're going to immediately activate something called Matrix of Prescient. Now, essentially what Matrix of Prescient is, is it is linked to her skill. Basically what it does is any anytime our allies receive damage, all that damage is going to be now distributed to Fu Shuan instead, which is really interesting. As you'll see here, Fu Shuan takes a lot more damage than our two allies do. That's because she is absorbing the damage. The second part to that ability is that it's going to increase crit rate and the max HP of all our allies too. So if we look at the buffs they've received here, we'll see here Matrix of Prescience, which is now going to distribute 65% of the damage we take to Fu Shuan, but also uh, the Knowledge buff at the bottom here, which increases our max HP and our crit rate as well that is the premise of her skill ability now let's go over a bit of her ultimate ability if we use our ultimate here first let's look at what it is so the ultimate is going to deal quantum damage to all enemies on the field and increase fu Shuan's trigger count which we're going to talk about a bit in a minute here let's use the big burst boom big burst and if you notice there in the bottom left corner before we only had one point on our little counter scale we now have two points there now that is because when we use the ultimate we got an extra trigger to that trigger count this is related to her talent when fu shuan is active in battle whenever her hp drops below a certain point she's actually gonna automatically heal so if we wait a little bit longer here and get attacked a little more you'll see there we go an automatic heal and that used one of our points on the bottom left there so how Having a good uptime on those little trigger points down there is going to be very, very important. You see now, now that we've lost one, if we want to get that point back, all we got to do is use our ultimate and then we can get that point right back. And there we go. We got our point back and we also did big damage. And that's why Fu Shuan is such a great character. She buffs, she heals, and she reduces your damage. There's nothing not to love about this character. She is truly probably the best defender we have in the game. And that was Fu Shuan's kit for you. Now it's time to actually build her because I pre-prepared everything. We don't have too much to worry about in that aspect. Obviously the first thing we got to do is we have to level her up. So let's take her straight to level 80 if I calculated the materials correctly, which I usually don't. Oh my goodness, I think I might have actually calculated it correctly. No way. Are we going to have an 80 out of 80 Fu Shuan? Yes, we are. There we go. All the way to level 80. There we go. You deserve it, Fu Shuan. That is huge. Level 80 out of 80. Oh, and with that, we got one two and three star rail passes now if you guys don't know every time you collect your star rail passes whenever you build your fu shuan you are always guaranteed to get a five star on the standard banner point proven now damn it 
We got a birth of the self. Cool. You are guaranteed to get a five star every single time you pull on the banner without fail. Ah, I mean, please come on, prove my point right today for the first time. One of these days, I'm going to get that. Just you wait. One of these days, I'll get that correct. But that day will not be today. Let's get back to building our Fushuan. Next things next, we're going to have to worry about her light cone. Now, unfortunately, uh, I don't have a lot of great options for light cones. So let's let's discuss her light cones a little bit. So for Fushuan's light cones, there are a lot of good options. So our best option is obviously gonna be um she already shut her eyes, which is way too long of a light cone name, but uh, this is most definitely the best option, increasing max HP, energy regeneration rate, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, I'm broke after Lynx ruined my life. The next best option is going to be Moment of Victory. This is actually a really solid light cone, increasing defense, effect hit rate. Um, It's definitely more geared towards Geppard, and Fushuan doesn't necessarily scale with defense. She obviously scales uh, more with HP, uh, but this is still an all-around good light cone just for survivability because she's obviously going to be taking most of the damage on the team. Um, Her best four-star option, however, which I do actually have is Lawn Dew's Choice. This one, essentially what it does is just decrease the damage you take by 16%. That simple, that good, just an all around solid light cone. There is obviously also Texture of Memories, which you can get from the shop. That's going to increase your effect resistance, which can help, uh, particularly if you're using the effect resistance rope and sphere. Again, unfortunately for me though, I don't have the herd of bond fragments to buy that. So I believe my best choice is to actually go to the store. And if we go to the store, I believe I'm able to buy Moment of Victory. We have 656 Undying Starlight links quite literally took all of my star glitter from me so now we have just enough to buy the moment of victory light cone which i'm personally gonna put on my fushuan let's go big and fushuan you are gonna take a five star light cone because i value you that much let's go let's take this thing all the way to level 80. all right and we now have a level 80 light cone for fushuan let's go Next thing's next, traces, and oh my goodness, is there ever a lot of traces I have to level up. Oh, buddy, oh boy. Level 8, and level 8 again, and I think we are capped now. So we were able to get her talents to 8874, which I think is pretty decent. Maybe I could have got one more on the talent, but you know what? I will take 887. Pretty good, solid talents there. But to be completely honest, I kind of want to even this out to 888. So I'm going to go and get a couple more safeguards of Amber. Give me a second here. And I guess we can also try our Fushuan for the first time as well. Even though she doesn't have relics, she'll still do what she needs to do. But obviously, when we get her own relics, we're going to test her again. Now, as for good teams for Fushuan, basically, she's just going to take the part of the shielder slash healer on your team. So you basically don't need a healer anymore. I mean, obviously, in harder content, you would still need probably somebody like Natasha uh, because Fushuan's healing isn't that dramatic. But for easy content like this, you can probably forget things like healers and instead obviously run your main damage dealer, somebody like a Kafka, somebody like an Ambiver Lune. Uh, for me, I'm going to go Kafka because she is my best built character on my account. And then obviously you still want to run your supports um, like Ting Yoon or somebody like Yukong. I'm going to opt for, I think, Silver Wolf today. Sounds like a good decision. And then for your last slot here, you could add another damage dealer if you wanted to. Um, You could add another support. It's really honestly versatile. Um, because Fushuan just fits so many slots of a character you need. She's a buffer, she's a healer, and she's a defender. So you really have a lot of versatile options with teams you can use her in. I think for me personally, I'm going to opt for a second damage dealer in Serval. And I think this team will work just fine paired with Fushuan. Let's go. Now keep in mind, we, we don't have a relics yet. So she may be a little underwhelming right now, but we're going to work on relics after this. All right, come on, Fushuan, kill the orb. Oh, wow, you do nothing. 
Oh, Fushuan is getting targeted, bro. Oh, there we go. See, that's what we're waiting for. That's the awesome ability. Okay. And now let's use our little matrix of prescience here to freaking take all the damage, even though that's probably not the best idea because she has no relics right now. It's okay. Look at that. Fushuan is tanking, bro. Nobody can touch my other characters. Fushuan is taking it all. And kill him. <laughs> she does nothing. <laughs> she does zero damage. We'll fix that in a second. We'll fix that in a minute. All right, maybe that's enough now. Can we get the 888 for our Fushuan? Let's see here. We're gonna be real close, I think. Come on. Oh, I need a little bit more. Well, luckily for me, I have the Ember Exchange. Let's go. Give me all of them. Nice. All right, and let's upgrade our Talon again. And then because we just bought out the store, we can upgrade one of our abilities to level nine. Let's do the, I wanna say the scale is probably our best option. There we go, nine, eight, eight, and now she is even better. There we go, Fushuan. Now the last thing, and probably the most important thing we have to do, because without this thing, um, most characters are deemed useless, um, that is relics. We need to work on relics. Now, for Fushuan specifically, the best option is really just going to be pairing up a bunch of different two pieces. So, things like two piece Guard of Wuthering Snow, which reduces our damage taken, two piece Messenger to increase our speed. Obviously, she really likes HP, um, so the two piece HP percent can work as well. You can even go for the four piece of this if you want. If you want a little more crit rate, that can also work as well. But generally, the best option that I found for Fushuan is just pairing up um, a bunch of little two pieces that you can find for her um now unfortunately for me i found this out prior to her release and before her release um i just kind of presumed that she would just be a defense bot like Geppard because I don't look at leaks so I didn't really know much about her kit so I ended up grinding all the wrong relics <laughs> as you'll see in my inventory I have a bunch a lot a ton of of Knights of Purity Palace, which I prepared for her because I thought this set would be good for her and it's just not good for her at all. But this is the set I grinded. So I really have no choice but to build this set now because I don't have anything from the other sets because I spent the last two months grinding this. So I'm in a bit of a pickle, uh, but that doesn't mean you have to be. Go for the two pieces, don't do what I did. That's my best advice. Now, let me pick some relics because even though I got the wrong set, I can still get the right substats, and the substats are what we have to worry about. So for Fushuan, our best choice is just going to be stacking a ton of HP on her, and that's what I'm going to try to do. So firstly, for the chest, I just want to find something with HP percent. Anything can really work. There we go, I got a little HP% percent 1 in the speed set, that could actually work really well for her. Uh, for the boots, I'm gonna want either speed or HP%, percent. I think I'm gonna opt for speed. Okay, I do have a pair of speed boots right here. Um, unfortunately, it's in the Knights of Purity Palace set, so let's take these ones. As for her Planner Sphere and Rope, her best options are going to be um, the Fleet of Ageless, which is going to uh, increase HP by 12%, and then also give buffs to all our allies. That's going to be a very solid set for her. Um, another good choice is going to be the Effect Resistance set, which also gives buffs to all allies, um, increasing every ally's crit damage by 10%. Now, I personally opted for the Effect Resistance set just because I need a ton of Ruliant Arena for my other characters, and they're in the same domain, so I did this set. Um, but the HP% percent one is definitely better for her. As for the main stat, I'm just going to want anything with HP%. Percent. HP% percent is all we need on her. Stacking as much HP as possible. This piece looks really good. We got some crit damage on there. Some effect resistance. That's what I like to see. Lastly, the rope. I'm definitely going to want energy regeneration. That's going to be very important for her. I just don't know if I have one in the right set because I... Oh, I do. Perfect. Energy regeneration rope. There you go. And now we got the best substats for her rope, her orb, her boot, and her body. Now all we need is a hat, which can be anything I want. Just gonna try to finish off the two-piece messenger and the two-piece Knights of Purity Palace. Just try to get the best things possible. Boom. Now it's time to upgrade all the pieces. This is gonna be fun. To be completely transparent with you guys, right now I just don't have a lot of relic EXP. Um, so instead of upgrading all my relics, I think I'm just going to swap around some relics with some of my other characters um, to finish off her set. So give me a second here, and I'm going to swap around a bunch of relics and try to get her on a full 
four piece. Okay, we now have my Fushuan on a two piece, two piece. I've got everything to above plus 12 besides the ore because um, it's just not the greatest thing for her. I don't particularly need crit stats on her. So I'm choosing to leave this orb where it is for right now. Uh, but here are some of the pieces. Um, we got an energy regeneration rope, defense, speed, not the best piece ever, could definitely be better. Um, some speed boots with a little bit of defense, HP, effect resistance. This is a very nice piece for her. The body, which again has some speed, effect resistance, crit damage, another good piece um this one has defense it actually has eight speed on this piece so this one is really nice and then the helmet which has again another eight speed effect resistance and hp percent some really good pieces for her i have a feeling though yeah she has a ton of speed i didn't realize we'd have this much speed on her 156 she is going to be getting a lot of turns which is a good thing though we want her to have a lot of turns but i think it's about time we try her out now her final stats are 5,600 HP, 156 speed, 116% regeneration, and 43% effect resistance, and it's now time to demolish some enemies. Why don't we head on over to the Forgotten Hall and see what you're capable of. Here we go, Messenger, what's up? Let's go. Currently in the Forgotten Hall, I am on uh, floor six. Um, I have a bit of a hard time with this, um, but I'm trying my best. Floor six actually does have an enemy with quantum weakness. So I think we're gonna try this out. Let's go with a team comp of Sele, Silver Wolf. Honestly, Mono Quantum sounds really good here. And then I think we'll throw in Natasha and Fushuan. Let's try that team out. Let's see how OP it is. So we can put up the defense with her, obviously, which is gonna be nice. And we can go in with any other character. Let's see how we do. Fushuan, I think, is most definitely gonna be going first, right? Yeah, she she is so much faster than the rest of my team. She has so much speed, man. I built her with way too much speed. But that's I guess that's a good thing, though. She has a lot of turns. And we already have up her burst, which is absolutely awesome. Boom. <laughs> that just that actually that is a crazy amount of damage. Boom. Oh man, these guys are gonna recover fast though. Luckily, now that we have Fushuan, nobody's taking any damage. Nobody's taking any damage. None at all. I ain't even stressing. Again, we can just use another defense. Boom. Increase everybody's HP a little bit. Everybody's a little bit tankier now. I'm loving her already. She is already a fun character. I feel so much tankier before. I really don't have many healers on my account or anything. So having Fushuan is going to be absolutely huge. Come on, heal yourself. I need you to heal. I really need you to heal, Fushuan. You're about to die. There we go. Let's go. Oh my goodness, she healed like all her health. That is crazy. Boom. <laughs> that does so much damage. Oh my goodness. The Trotter killed everything. Oh, get the single target damage down. Kill him. Nice. That did uh, a little more damage than last time. Still not all that much, but she doesn't need to do damage. She's not a main damage dealer. We don't need her to be. What we need from her is that defense. Let's keep it going. I guarantee you, we will not even come close to dying here. I am not even worried. If we die here, I'll delete my YouTube channel. Throw up another defense. I, I don't even know why I brought Natasha, to be honest. I didn't need her. fushuan has got me covered. I could have just, I could have left Natasha at home. I thought maybe I need her for healing, but no. And automatic healing again? Perfect. Bro, nobody takes any damage in this comp. Nobody takes any damage. She's too cracked, man. She's too cracked. Throw up another defense. Nice. And we get the burst immediately. Oh my gosh. She is nuts. Boom. Automatic healing again. And do we need... Actually, do we need to throw up another defense every turn? I'm not sure if we do. Yeah, because the Matrix of Prescience is still active. I, yeah, I don't need to throw this up every turn. I don't know why I was doing that. Yeah, I don't need to throw that up every turn. I can just normal attack and I think we're fine. And just like that, we're done. It's that easy. Nobody takes like any damage. Oh my goodness. And that, my friends, was Fu Xuan. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I enjoy building her. She is a such a pleasant character and is a big relief for my account. Please, if you haven't already, consider liking this video or dropping a subscription. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.